everyone and welcome back to another video with DIYs by Carolina. As you guys can see from the title of this video, I am going to be doing a small bathroom makeover. This bathroom is actually my master bathroom. Um, it's pretty small in size and as you guys can see here from the video footage, the space is very dark, very gloomy, it's not inviting and what I want to do is I want to change that. I want to make the space lighter, brighter and definitely give it a spa-like feel. So stay tuned. So this is the before images of what my bathroom looked like before I did the makeover. So this is that same dark gray pink color that I had in the guest bathroom before I did the makeover in there. So if you haven't gotten a chance to check out the guest bathroom makeover, definitely take a look at that video as well. Feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle lot, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave. It's a nice range, cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain. You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. They'll see with the negativity, but I just slide right by that energy. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 So what I did was just prep the wall and just pretty much got them ready to uh, put up my boards and also to get them ready to be painted. So I just went ahead and just smoothed out any type of bumps or anything from any nail holes or unevenness in the wall. And so then that way whenever I lay my boards down or when I start painting, I'll have a smooth surface to work from. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, 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 You can still go Even when you feel slow You can still go Even when there's no hope You can still go I never answered a no Man, I still go Go, go To create this wall design, I'm actually using the MDF boards. Um, you can purchase these at Lowe's or Home Depot. And for this project, it took me 12 seven foot boards to complete both sides of the wall. All right guys, so we have already completed one side of the wall. As you can see here, 
Looks good. Okay, so now we're about to mimic what we did on the other side of the wall in this space here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with that. that I'm using on my wall is Sharon Williams Zurich White. I purchased this paint from Lowe's and I'm pretty sure you can get it from Home Depot as well. Um, this white is definitely a lot more toned down and it's more so on the creamier side without having that yellowy tint to it, which is perfect. Um, it definitely makes the space uh, feel larger, but it also gives it a more warmer, cozier, softer feel, almost like a spa-like experience. So I absolutely love this paint color and I'm thinking about using this in other parts of my home. I really love how it definitely opened up my small bathroom. Actually going to be doing some shelving over my toilet in the bathroom and these are just some boards that I cut to size to fit the shelving and the color stain that I'm using is by Mimwax It's the golden natural color so it leaves the wood with the natural look to it but it just kind of gives it a nice golden hue So 
as you guys can see here, I actually spray painted all of my hardware. I did not go out and purchase new hardware for this project. I wanted all of my hardware to be painted in this gold color. So as you guys can see here, I'm taking my time and I'm using the Rust-Oleum spray paint and I'm just painting everything. That was including the shower rod, you name it, I painted it. you guys so let's take one last look at what the master bathroom used to look like before the makeover so as you guys can recall the space was dark and gloomy none of the finishes matched and it just made the space seem more smaller and the goal here was to make it more open more cozier and definitely bring it back to a master bathroom status so let's see if we accomplished that today
I want to take a moment to say thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and got some type of inspiration for projects that you can do in your home. And if you are new to this channel for the first time, welcome. My name is Carolina and on this channel you can expect to find content related to makeovers, DIY projects, renovations, clean with me's and so much more. And of course to all of my existing subscribers, welcome back you guys. It's always a pleasure having you guys here.